Back at the all time classic Castle Luke location today, as you can see from the farm and hear from the Swiss cows and their huge bells around their neck. I love this place, I really miss it as well. When I don't come here for a couple of weeks, I really, really miss it. it just feels like home. I should probably find out who actually owns this farm one day. Well, I am super buzzed. Uh, firstly, because I have a GT3 Touring. Secondly, because I've just drunk my first ever Red Bull and I feel like a child who's just drunk their first ever sugar drink because wow does this stuff kick in i've always stayed away from things like this because well 11 grams of sugar what yeah that's that's quite a lot i was feeling super tired this morning i spent the last couple of days in bed with fever needed a bit of energy couldn't find any good coffee and i was like you know what today is the day that i try one of these energy drinks and uh yeah, I'm not sure what to make of it yet. I am with a GT3 Touring today, which I have actually never had to drive for myself on my channel. I did film a GT3 Touring out in California, if you guys remember some time ago, I don't know, probably like two years ago now, you know, when times were much easier. Uh, that was with Tom, the blue GT3 Touring. He still has it today, such a, an amazing car, but so excited just to have one to myself for the day to go and explore on my local mountain pass and then of course coffee run after so this one is actually owned by greg the boss of sportec and as the boss of such a cool car garage like sportec you know you would expect they drive a cool car and that's exactly what he does oh my god just look at that i'm probably going to make lots of funny weird uh sounds today so if you don't like that maybe you want to switch off now because I am just drooling all over this car. It is the dream, if you ask me. Love this color on a Porsche as well. So it has a few modifications. It is, as far as I'm aware, a little bit lower. It's also got a set of OZ racing forged wheels on, which will be replaced sooner or later for the Sportec wheels once they arrive. As much as the new GT3, the 992, GT3 and the Touring is a truly incredible machine. One of, you know, the best sports cars ever made. You don't need one. You don't need the newest. No OPF filter. No annoying particle filters taking away all of the sound. A proper, proper sports car that you can actually daily drive. So inside, got the carbon fiber bucket seats and of course one of the highlights of buying a touring is you get this amazing manual gearbox i don't know about you guys but i say it's time to head out for a drive on my local mountain pass Let's go have some fun in one of the greatest cars ever made on the way to buy some coffee. This is how to spend a nice day if you ask me. I've missed a manual gearbox so much. stuff do you know what that sound is that is the sound of no particle filter we're saying that okay the new 992 gt3 porsche did an amazing job bearing in mind the new regulations that does sound good not as good on low rpms like this you've really got to make it scream but 
does sound really, really good. So, fair play to that, but this is still <laughs> the proper stuff. Manual gearbox, four litre flat six, 500 horsepower, just perfect. Everything about this car is like just the right amount, just the right amount of comfort, just the right amount of that feeling of driving a supercar where it's not going to break your back after a whole day. It's by no means, you know, crazy fast or anything, but it's a very usable power. And for a place like where I am now, where the roads are so tight and twisty, I mean, it's impossible to get, well, I don't say impossible, but very difficult, and you would have to be pretty daring to try and get over a hundred on these roads. Such a fantastic pop -on car. It is the dream, it definitely is. I mean, this or a GT3, you know, doesn't matter in the end, does it? Uh, corner after corner. I love just this kind of fluid feeling around corners. I seem to have quite often comments from what appear to be Americans freaking out about the size of the roads we have here and they can't quite believe it they they think it's not possible from what I read in the comments so if you're watching this from America this is totally normal you know we we live with roads in Switzerland like this on a daily basis for me I don't know I'm just totally used to it I'm completely used to driving extremely narrow roads and kind of passing other things with a centimeter to bed it just feels normal now and I've been to the States and the first thing that shocked me was the size of the roads I mean I couldn't get over how long it took me to cross a road the first time I thought I was never gonna get to the other side whereas here you can pretty much jump from one side to the other startup when you start up this series of GT3s it makes the coolest sound this it gets me every time it's like somebody's tickling me and it makes me just smile and laugh once you get up into those higher revs Life just becomes better. Just feels so unbelievable, this car. And obviously, as this is a Sportec car, I know the suspension would have been set up perfectly because those guys are just kings at setting up suspension right because they do so much with race cars, they know how to do suspension right just remembered it's a manual GT3 which means of course many nice things but it means I can flat foot shift so I'm going to shift now without lifting off the power that is so so cool 
Next flat for a shift. Oh, I love it. Love it. As you may have noticed, it is now the next morning. I'm not very good at getting coffee in GT3s. I get quite distracted. I carried on driving, went to meet a few friends who then I carried on driving with, went to take some night pictures, and then it was around one in the morning. So yeah, coffee time had passed for yesterday, but that's how good GT3s are at the end, especially if it's a manual, you just can't stop driving. It's one of the best feelings ever. But anyway, I've got to drop the calf back now at Sportec. Got up to shoot the sunrise. As you can see, there's not much of a sunrise. Bit of a spooky, misty morning. Still took some pictures though, looking quite cool. Sadly, in Switzerland, coffee shops don't open until 9 a.m., which for me is just super late. So for photographers and filmers that like to get up and shoot sunrise, yeah, you have to wait quite some hours before you can get your first coffee in the morning. I think that it's one of the best cars ever made. Just endless fun. Anyway. Ciao for now.